All right, so let's get started on SAS. Um, one way to compile SAS is to use Scout, but here's another way. You can like go to, um, what is it called? Code pen, and I'll show you how to do it there. We're gonna do it the SCSS way, and we're gonna do it the, the SAS way. So we're gonna create a new pen, and we're gonna go in here. We're going to use SCSS. So let's get started. Um, let's see, SAS. Let's create some random divs like test. Um, let's get started. And then we'll do this again. Okay, let's start with variables. So a variable is money signs, so we can create font stack sans serif and primary color. put the variable in here. So the reason why we use variables for SAS is so we can like easily go into the SCSS and compile it and change the color or the fonts in every part of the CSS. So it gets more organized versus like you individually changing every single color. That's why SAS is awesome. So save, control S, and then that compiles into that. So next we'll go into nesting. I'm gonna copy paste it. I'm looking at docs so being lazy. So it's gonna get create a nav. So it's nav UL LI A, I think. Compile. Yeah, that's it. Let's call this guy link. Link one. Com paste. There you go. You have yourself in that bar. Cool. It's inline block. One, two, three, bam. Okay, let's go back to it. So this is basically nesting. So it's nav engulfed in this paren, this paren, and then a nest. So nav ul, and then nav li, nav a. You compile it, it shows right here. Let's see, we can do imports. Okay, let's delete all this. We're gonna delete all this, I guess. I wish to do an import. So we can go in, and then we do need an add-on. You can do an import. Suzy, neat, compass. This must be just reset. Well, right here. CSS reset. You can do that. Where's import compass? So it will be on top. We'll import compass. So we have compass now. That's an import. And uh, what can compass do? We have to look it up. Let's see compass. I mean, it's been really slow. So you don't have to do like the documentation. Like you do it this way, you can like this is really if you want to do a really quick mock-up, then you come like this. Um code pen. But if you gotta do like a because you're gonna have like partials and stuff, it's gonna you know, break it up all your CSS to be split up. There's a documentation. Right. 
There we go. See, this is how you install it. It's a uh, it's a gem from Ruby on Rails. Documentation. You can go examples. Jeez. Let's do gradients. So now there's a clear fix. Okay, we're gonna create a gradient right here. Copy and paste that. And we're gonna go in. Oh, they have a different version. You can do also SAS version or your SES version. So you can like copy and paste little snippets. So compiled. Where the heck did it go? Radio gradient. Oh, here it is. Radio gradient. And uh, let's give radio gradient. And we'll give this uh, height of 50 pips. Don't do that. Use M's. And so picks, this is for so it's that. There we go. Bam, great yet. Done. So we have that. So, yeah, just copy and paste and stuff. I'm not explaining anything. So, there's an import, it's an include. So, it compiles into this. It's already written in, it's like contrasted. So, this to do with colors. And then there's columns, and there's flexbox. Like uh, you see, Dev Tips use this version, SAS. Instead of at sign, be plus for um, includes. So basically, you're just grabbing it from this library, which is good. The good thing about it is like afterward, because like you can like go in and click compiled. I think this should end my tutorial. It's pretty short. But you can do it through all of this. If you don't know, I'm not explaining much. He has a short video tutorial. You can watch there. So you can watch it there. Alright, this is good. So, yeah. And you can probably learn more from SAS Lane and documentation. It's mixing is like a function, and then extends is like inheritance. It's like basically comma delineated. So we'll just grab these two okay grab these two put it in to the SCSS so watch it's the comma the limited so the first one is this and it's gonna be common eliminated extends from message so it's gonna go like this as it common delimited down like that but success is by itself because you don't want it to be together. So we're gonna create like a div. So it's gonna be that means they're sharing the. Does that mean they're the same one? No, that means they're sharing the the same uh, rules. So it's gonna be div message. Okay. There. The invisible line, and then we're gonna create one more success. Div success, and that was green. Okay, and this is how you can tell I don't explain Jack because I'm not explaining anything really well. You're just watching me copy and paste code. So that's what programmers do. But you have to understand what happens between the lines. It's just another tool. 
Like it's a big library you can use the code and you can like learn from it. And I think its compass is pretty good. And this is an easier way of doing it with code pen. So you just go toggle, compile, compiled, uncompiled. This is the SCC this version. Alright, let's do this with the delete all this junk. I'm delete all this junk. Oh, we're gonna do the SES SAS version. So we're gonna change to SAS. Need an add on. Daddy Susie? No, Bourbon's okay. Add this guy. Add color schemer. Cool. Now we have a compass. Now we can go back in. We'll also go back to gradients. This one. And we'll probably do it. Again, this one, and then we have that compiled. This one should be. I have the issues. So this one picks with. No, there's no uh, semicolon. Bad habits. Your picks. What's going on? It's not indented properly. <sighs> Mother. Okay. What's this? Uh, it's okay here. Compiles. There we go. So it's gonna be div com paste this ID selector. Tab it. Bam. Done. Yeah, be very careful with the spacing because um, for SAS, it's just basically. Um, it's without the curly braces. But if you prefer the curly braces, then you use CSS. If you don't, then use this one, SAS. A lot of people choose this one because you can type less and not do curly braces, but it's really up to you. This is the cleaner version instead of. But I prefer SCSS. It's really up to you because I, I have curly braces and uh, semicolons like, embedded in me. So it's really up to you, and then you can just toggle the com compressed, I mean compiled version to see how it compiles. So code pens is a really good place to um, play around with this stuff. Um, this is about it. That's all I want to talk about. There's like if and thens too. Let's see. Um, we'll just go over them really quick. There's operators like plus minus like, and then modulo. If you're a programmer, you know what modulo is. You know, yeah, it's junk. Where's direct is? What the heck is directives? Extensions. Here's directives. So directives like an if then statement. There's no examples. This is media queries. Similar directives or operations. Let's move into population. Oh, here it is. These these things right here. So these are if and then. So it's p if if plus two. Then it'll be this. Stuff like that. If and then for colors, if this type of color is ocean, then look at that color. And there's four loops each, four in loops, stuff like that. So it's just basically going to documentation and um, trying to figure out how things work. And that's how you program, pretty much. And I'm done with this tutorial. Until next time, guys.